This instructional video covers technical practices and procedures for using a fixed or adjustable single channel pipetter with an overfill level. Using correct pipetting technique is necessary to get accurate results with Neogen's test kits. If, after watching this video, you have unanswered questions, please contact your Neogen representative. Pipetters are instruments commonly used with Neogen kits to draw up and dispense very small volumes of liquid. The most common pipetters used are the ones covered in this video. The 100 microliter Fin Pipetter Fixed Single Channel and the Fin Pipette Adjustable Single Channel. Note that others are needed at times. This symbol refers to a microliter which is one one-thousandth of a milliliter. Because the volumes are so small, correct pipetting is essential to performing Neogen's tests correctly. These pipetters can draw up different volumes depending on how far the plunger is depressed and the volume setting on adjustable pipetters. We also have instructional videos for pipetters that can draw up a fixed volume with no overfill level and multi-channel pipetters that can draw up multiple channels at a time. Preparing a pipetter for use. It is a good idea to wear gloves and other personal protection equipment for the other steps in accordance with your company policy. Before using a pipetter, it is critical to ensure the correct pipetter or volume setting is selected. The volume a pipetter can draw and dispense is displayed on the dial gauge on the outside of the pipetter. To set an adjustable pipetter's volume, pull the knob on the top of the pipetter plunger and turn the knob in either direction to adjust the setting. Once the correct volume is selected, push the knob back to the original position to lock into place. Once the correct pipetter or volume setting is selected, the pipetter should be evaluated. If the pipetter has any missing parts or hanging or damaged parts, it should not be used. If a calibration program is in place and the pipetter is out of calibration, it should be calibrated before use. Neogen recommends calibrating your pipetters once every year. Pipetters should also be clean on the outside, and the nozzle, where the tip is attached, should fit snugly into the barrel of the pipetter. Once the correct pipetter and volume is selected, and functionality is verified, the pipetter is ready for use. The first step is to attach a plastic tip to the end of the pipetter. Neogen recommends using plastic tip boxes, such as this one, instead of attaching them by hand. Plastic tip boxes come pre-filled with tips, and a common practice is to manually refill boxes from bags of tips. When refilling tip boxes, be sure to wear new disposable gloves. Attach a tip by holding the pipetter with your hand so that your thumb is on the top of the pipetter and the finger hold faces outward. Lower the pipetter down into the tip. After attaching the tip, pull the pipetter out and snug the tip by pushing the upper part onto the pipetter nozzle by hand. If a tip is loose, re-snug the tip or discard it and attach a new tip. If a tip can't be snugged, the pipetter may need to be cleaned and repaired. Using the pipetter There are different methods to ensure the correct volumes are dispensed with these pipetters. Any of these methods are acceptable as long as good pipetting is followed to ensure consistent, accurate liquid volumes are dispensed. The different methods include repetitive technique, forward technique, and reverse technique. Repetitive technique. This technique is good for repeated delivery of the same liquid. For instance, dispensing conjugate with Veritox kits. Slowly depress the plunger all the way down to position 1 and lower the pipetter so that the tip is placed under the surface of the liquid to about 1 centimeter. 
slowly release the plunger to position 2. This action will fill the tip. Slightly raise the pipetter so that the filled tip is just above the liquid that remains in the container and repeat these initial steps to prime the tip with the liquid, which ensures equal volumes of the liquid are drawn and dispensed. Next, raise the pipetter with the filled tip and drag the tip against the side of the container to remove any liquid that may have stuck to the outside of the tip. This is known as dragging the tip. Check the fluid in the tip for bubbles, leakage, and fluid height. If you see any bubbles, dispense and redraw the liquid following the procedure shown earlier, or dispense the liquid and attach a new tip. If a tip is leaking, discard the tip, attach a new one, and begin again. If the liquid in the tip is not at the correct level, dispense liquid back into the vessel, re-snug or discard the tip, and attach a new one and redraw. Bring the pipetter with the filled tip to the receiving well and place the tip against the inside wall of the receiving well as close to the bottom or as close to the top of any existing liquid in the well as possible. Slowly depress the plunger to the first stop, position 3, to dispense. While holding the plunger knob at position 3, slowly raise the pipetter, keeping the point of the tip against the inside wall of the well. This is known as dragging the tip after dispensing. Liquid will be left in the tip. Keeping the pipetter knob at position 3, bring the pipetter over to the container and release the plunger knob all the way to the top, position 2, to draw up a full tip. Then, repeat delivery as shown. When you're finished pipetting, position the pipetter with tip over a waste receptacle. Press the plunger down to position 1 to discard the remaining liquid, then release the pipetter plunger all the way up to the top, position 2, and then eject the tip. A word of caution with this technique, it is imperative that when dispensing liquid, the plunger knob is only pressed down to position 3. Fully depressing the plunger will result in dispensing excess liquid into the microwell. This can affect kit performance. Forward Technique – Exact Method This technique is good for pipetting liquids that don't easily foam or that are in limited supply. After attaching a tip, depress the plunger to the first stop of position 1. Lower the pipetter so that the tip is placed under the surface of the liquid in the container to about 1 cm and slowly release the plunger to position 2. This action fills the tip. Slightly raise the pipetter so that the filled tip is just above the remaining liquid in the container and repeat earlier steps to prime the tip with the liquid. This primes the pipetter tip with liquid, which ensures equal volumes of liquid are drawn and dispensed. Check the fluid in the tip for bubbles, leakage, and fluid height. If you see any bubbles, dispense and redraw the liquid following the procedure shown earlier, or discard the liquid and attach a new tip. If a tip is leaking, discard the tip, attach a new one, and begin again. If the liquid in the tip is not at the proper level, dispense the liquid back into the vessel, re-snug or discard the tip, attach a new one, and redraw. Bring the pipetter with filled tip to the receiving well and place the tip against the inside wall of the well as close to the bottom or as close to the top of any existing liquid in the vessel as possible. Slowly depress the plunger to the first stop. After a delay of one second, depress the plunger all the way down to the bottom of position 3 in the diagram. This action empties the tip. While holding the plunger at position 3, slowly raise the pipetter while keeping the point of the tip against the inside wall of the well or cup. This is also known as dragging the tip after dispensing. If you're finished pipetting this liquid, position the pipetter with tip over a waste receptacle and release the plunger knob to position 4 
and eject the tip. If you're not finished pipetting after dispensing the first tip, withdraw the pipetter with tip from the receiving well and, keeping the plunger at position 3, insert the pipetter with tip into the container as shown previously and release to position 2. Then repeat the prior steps. Reverse Technique, or Overfill Technique. After attaching a tip, depress the plunger knob to just under the first stop at position 1. Lower the pipetter so that the tip is just under the surface of the liquid, about 1 centimeter, and slowly release the plunger knob all the way to the top of position 2. This action fills the tip. Repeat steps to prime the tip. Next. Raise the pipetter with the filled tip and drag the tip against the side of the container to remove any liquid that may have stuck to the outside of the tip. This is known as dragging the tip. Check the fluid in the tip for bubbles, leakage, and fluid height. If you see any bubbles, dispense and redraw the liquid following the procedure shown earlier or discard the liquid and attach a new tip. If a tip is leaking, discard the tip attach a new one and begin again. If the liquid in the tip is not at the proper level, dispense the liquid back into the vessel, re-snug or discard the tip, attach a new one, and redraw. Bring the pipetter with the filled tip to the receiving well and place the tip against the inside wall of the well as close to the bottom or as close to the top of any existing liquid as possible. Slowly depress the plunger to the first stop, position 3, and drag the tip out of the microwell. There will be liquid remaining in the tip. If you're finished pipetting, position the pipetter with tip over a waste receptacle and push the plunger knob all the way down to discard the remaining liquid. Release the knob to position 4 and eject the tip. If you're not finished pipetting after dispensing the first volume of liquid, Position the tip over the container, push the plunger knob to position 1, and repeat the drawing up and dispensing of liquid. Calibrating Pipetters Neogen recommends calibrating your pipetters once every year. New pipetters come with calibration certificates that are good for one year from the date of first use. Calibrating pipetters using one of the methods described in this video is a good way to practice pipetting. To check calibration, zero out a sample cup that's been placed on a scale, set the pipetter at 100 microliters, and pipette 10 tips of distilled water into the sample cup. For a 100 microliter pipetter, the weight of the distilled water from the 10 tips should be between 0.97 and 1.03 grams. If the weight is outside of this range, the pipetter should be sent in for calibration. Neogen offers all of the products shown in this video. Please contact your Neogen representative to learn more. Neogen is available and ready to help with additional support or products. If you have additional questions, please contact Neogen.